Dominica Vaughn here with the Greenfield School District, ready to read you a bedtime story tonight. We are still celebrating on our day two of Hispanic Heritage Month, so we're really excited to be reading you stories of Latinos and uh, just the culture of, of, of Latinos and Hispanics. It's a wonderful culture to be part of, and we're going to be able to celebrate them during this theme month of September. So thank you for joining me today, tonight, I'm going to read all kinds of children. So we're going to talk about the different types of children that are in our world. Hola comunidad de Greenfield, soy Superintendent Pavan, aquí con ustedes del sitio escolar de Greenfield, leyendo más historias y bienvenidos a esta noche de las historias. Y este mes de septiembre estamos celebrando los latinos por el mes, todo el mes, porque es el, el mes de latinos um, americanos y hispanos. So voy a leer la historia de todos tipos de niños aquí con ustedes. So gracias por estar aquí conmigo. Thank you for being here with me. The story is written by Norma Simon and illustrated by Diane Patterson. All right, here we go. Do you know that every child in the whole world has a belly button just like you all over the world? Children are all the same, you know. All children need food, milk, Cereal, meat, vegetables, and maybe even some juicy fruit. Food to help them grow big and strong and smart, just like you. All children need clothes. They need diapers and shirts and pants and dresses and hats and coats and all kinds of shoes. All children do. All children all over the world live in home, in houses, some houses are big and some are small and some are way high and some are low. Some children stay in the same house for a long time and some children move from place to place. But they all live somewhere, just like you. All children need people to love them. Mommies and daddies, sisters and brothers, aunties and uncles, grandmas and grandpas, all children. There's some grandmas and grandpas. There's some aunties and uncles, step parents, foster parents, caregivers, teachers, neighbors and friends. All children need people to love them. All children like to hold something special too. Maybe a blanket or a pacifier, a chupi, uh, teddy bears or dolls. They all like to hold something close, especially when they feel tired or maybe when they feel sad. You might have something that you hold on to when it's bedtime and you can use it right now. All children like to play. They dig in the dirt, they splash in the water, they build roads and bridges for their cars and their trucks. They play games like hide and go seek. Children love to just run. What do you like to play? Children do work too. They sometimes clean the house and they help with the cooking and they help with the babies and they help their families. What work do you do in your house to help? Children all over the world love to go for rides. Some of them ride buses, some ride wagons, some ride boats, trains or planes. Some ride a donkey or a pony and some snuggle in a pack. That mommy carries that baby like that. All children have and love stories. They listen and they sit on mama's lap or grandma's lap or grandpa and they listen. They listen to old stories and new stories, long stories and short stories, real stories and pretend stories. What's your favorite story? I would love for you to ask someone, an adult in your house, to tell you a story. All children go to sleep at night. They climb into all different kinds of beds and places to sleep. And when they do fall asleep, they dream different dreams. Do you know that every grown up in the whole world used to be a baby? Mommies and daddies and grandpas and grandmas firefighters, truck drivers, teachers too. They all used to be a baby too, just like you used to be. Oh, that's a cool picture. You see when they're little and then they grow up. 
sometimes you play make believe and you try you might want to be a firefighter and then you could actually be one all over the world children are growing just like you little by little year by year children grow and grow and one day someday soon they will all grow up and so will you that is your story for tonight all kinds of children. So thank you so much for joining me here today. I am celebrating the Mary Chapa Kodiak. So I hope you notice every day during the week I'm trying to wear a really nice shirt that represents our schools so that you can wear yours as well. And all of our schools, no matter what school you go to, go ahead and put that shirt on when you listen to bedtime story time, but I will always feature one. So shout out to our Mary Chapa Kodiaks. Hi out there and to everyone else too. I'm Supernova Gahan with the Greenfield School District sending a great big bear hug from our family to yours.